Greetings everybody. Yeah, one more day with the on the farm. I don't know. I'm going to the checkup. I've just reached in, so I'm just doing the update as I reach. So yeah. Remember them wild cabbage there? See them must stand up you know. Yeah man, then catch you know man. See the next one here. Catch you now, see it all of a center and a grow you now. But it seems like some pests are bad height, so I really need the neem oil, so I'm definitely going to get that. Aloe vera, you see it has stand up now. You can see it's a life in it, you know. It has come on, centerpiece now, my girl. Yeah, this is the check up on the tomato, them. That one here, general, like something cut it off. And some sort of insect there here, so, so insect in that hole. But for the rest of them, yeah man, the salad them are doing nice. Yeah man, the tomato, you know. Them green and nice, not too much water, not too little. You know. Man, look how them are grow big and nice, man. Remember them the little over there? Them big now. Them are take time to grow, man, and I come into them own. Beautiful. You can see some of them need water now. Kind of dry. Ah, look at this. Some nice tomato, man, you know. And yeah. I'll go over to the strawberry side. Man, you know, I'm going to find out the other day, people, that ash is not necessarily good for strawberries, but because the soil needed the nutrients, the other nutrients, um, let me say that again. The strawberries, um, are acidic plants it is not alkaline so the ashes is not necessarily good for them but they still use the other elements that is not potassium and build themselves up because you can see that them doing very nice look at this one flower no more so them doing very nice. The ashes never make them stop or stunt their growth. You know? Look at this one with the strawberries underneath. I put them on the, the banana trash. So the strawberries have something nice and soft to grow on. You know? And I think... Okay. So I have two strawberries on that one. I have one strawberry over here. You see that? I put it on the leaf. Yeah. So it's very whoa, this one flowering as well. You see that? Yo. This well exciting for my people. John. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Man. Couple of the strawberries flower nicely. Beautiful. Uh, I'll go up to the seed bed. Because you see how the place dry people. Man. It's been a while since it has rained. Cause it drizzled last night, you know. It's a long time we never get a little drizzle, but that drizzle never really do much. So checking up on the seed bed now, man, you can see that the, the insects really dealing with the cucumber, man, but I'm started over here. So yeah, the peanuts that are planted, look how they must shoot up nice, you know, get out some of these leaves. Although leaf nice, 
and keep the seed bed warm, you know. So, remember the garlic that you planted? Well, you see this one shooting up, this one greening up, this one very tall already. You see that? Yeah, man. So, in time, we're gonna have enough garlic, man. Beautiful, beautiful. So, yeah. This two tomato by the side growing. <laughs> this is where the watermelon was. No more watermelon. So the parsley. Parsley is doing nice. The lettuce is here. The pak chai. You have the cabbage. And this is a cucumber. Insects deal with them one. So this is trying cucumber without any additives. So by naturally planting cucumber like this, the insects dealt with it. Same with the watermelon. Insect them deal with it. So these are the tomato now. Here about the tomato, the carrots. And um, yeah. So in reality, these things really need to plant out. But what? We need a little more rain, man, so it's more efficient for go and nurture them here until little st rain start fall so we can actually catch some of them nicely into the field. You know? Because you don't know we don't have no pipe system. So rain will depend upon and hand watering. You know? So if we plant out these it is basically a couple hundred plants you have to water you know when it's out so we don't want to exhaust the water supply right away you know so waiting on the right time and them so ready them ready so the so see it happen man so see it happen by a couple days we plant them out and this is where we do the popcorn over here dry now, so we're gonna need for water it again. Boost up back the place. So yeah. Do you know catch some water already and things so we're gonna water them thing here. So we'll come back to now. Yeah, me and Dino just done water everything. Yeah, I'm give thanks to Dino help. Cause you don't know when the sun dip on you how you do them thing here like rough man. Extra hands make the work nice, awesome. We give thanks. Don't know, sir. D, no man, give thanks. So, yeah, water everything now. To me, to them get some nice water. The sky look like it's a dark up, little so I look like. We soon get some nice rain, you know, because a long time we don't see them dark clouds there, man. So give thanks for that. Yeah, man, look how them tomatoes are big and nice, man. Mm -hmm. Them are growing nice. And give them a little extra water because the sun did a bit hard. So, yeah. Them supposed to love the water, them, man. Oh, see two little chicken hawk on top of the tree there. You can see that? On top of the jackfruit tree. I wonder if this can zoom. Oh no, up and down. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this is just a little update for today. So, give thanks for watching. Not a very long episode. But yeah, look on a journey with the strawberry or flowers man so you soon see that turn fruit you see me got the flowers them nice on it too you know see them one here yeah? what was flowers the other day now it's a fruit now fruit on the strawberry you know epic man so I want more fruit down here and a couple more flowers coming yo Give thanks to the Father, man. 
one more flowering around here, so man. The other side I never really make it so nice still. But give thanks to this side I'll make it. So yeah. Come on, we just showing everything but seal we are seal it up now after the water in. I don't know. We we'll come down here. Just water the things, you know. And you see the journey. I'm gonna take time grow. So yeah. Water everything. Come on. The garlic them are grow, man. The garlic are grow and the peanut are grow nice. Man. Grow faster. So yeah. So so plant out them thing here man. Hopefully the drought ease up you now. You know, Father will bless you with little rain from above, you know. Open the windows of heaven. Yeah, and the popcorn. Water the bed now. So yeah. I well, see the journey upon that. You see, see them pop up them head. <laughs> you know, probably by next week, you know, but little by little. Everything now is just happening overnight, you know. So you just have to just take time and water them until they're ready to move on upon them own, you know. So, yeah, give thanks for watching that episode there. Yeah. You know, I might seal it up up on the apple tree, you know. I might pick some apples still, so. When we go up on top of the hill, we talk to now again. Alright, so come. Yes, everybody, you don't know when jackfruit is ready on the tree. I'm just cut piece and left piece for the tenant on the land, you know. So give thanks. Jackfruit, man, you know. If you never taste jackfruit before, you need to taste one now. So yeah, we get a little piece. Do you know everything at the bag yeah? See it yeah? So my wife will use that and make anything she wanna make, juice. Can we make juice from the jackfruit seed, you know? Jackfruit seed punch. Epic, you know? And use the fruit and cook with and bake with. One time she would make cheesecake with jackfruit in it, you know? <laughs> so yeah. Get a little jackfruit, so we just didn't want to show one of that. So we are tried up on the hill now. Here everybody, they up on the apple tree. Just pick a couple of apple, you know? I'll show one of them what I Be an apple in the tree. I don't know everybody are coming for something too. So yeah man, seal it off yourself for your day. One perfect love, see you tomorrow.